Matthew Monifon was a top receiver in college football and after being drafted by the Green Bay Packers has started to become one of the best NFL receivers and with his team currently sitting at 8-3 and three, he was hoping that he would be able to help his team close out the regular season and clinch a playoff spot in his first ever season as an NFL receiver. Tonight's game against the Chiefs would be a good test for them as they were one of the top teams in the NFL and so far the young Packers team was holding their own against them. Jordan Love was really starting to impress the organization with the development they've seen in him this year and Matthew was definitely happy that he was getting to play with Jordan Love as a starting quarterback instead of Teddy Bridgewater who started the season for the Packers but no offense to Teddy Bridgewater though by any means of course. Despite all the praise they had for Jordan Love in the offense they just couldn't seem to get it going tonight against Kansas City and even though Matthew would come down with his first touchdown reception of the night late in the fourth quarter to cut into the Chiefs lead it wouldn't be enough as Mahomes and the Chiefs would get the win here in Lambeau. Matthew and the Packers would have another primetime game the following week as they traveled to MetLife Stadium to take on the New York football giants as Matthew was off to a really slow and quiet start this game. His first reception would not come until right before the two minute warning in the second quarter for him and that would be his only catch in the entire first half for him. It wasn't until the fourth quarter that he finally started to heat up as Love would find him for a touchdown and then he would come through when the offense needed it the most and would work his way open for Jordan to find him and convert on a long third and 15 to keep this drive alive which would ultimately help the Packers win this one at MetLife. Matthew and the Packers were back at home this week and were taking on the Buccaneers and both teams decided to have a throwback week as this was a pretty sick uniform matchup in Lambeau. Not only that but Matthew was off to a fantastic start on the first drive as he had already racked up four receptions from Jordan Love so far this possession and would end up capping it off with his fifth one as he would get the first touchdown of the day for the Pack. At this point Matthew was on pace for double digit receptions this game against Tampa Bay and that is something he or any receiver on this team has yet to do so far this season so it would be a really big milestone if the young rookie could do that this game and with it only being halftime against the Buccaneers it was looking like it would happen today as he would come down with his eighth reception from this acrobatic throw from Jordan Love to avoid a sack on third down. On the next third down Matthew would come down with reception number nine and touchdown number two as he was now one reception away from double digits. It would finally come for him at the start of the fourth quarter and after putting up a final stat line of 11 receptions for 117 yards and two touchdowns Matthew would help lead the Packers to another victory here at home. Back on the road Matthew was getting to work right away on offense as he'd pick up the first touchdown of the game and then he wouldn't get a second reception until he would save Jordan Love from what should have been an interception and turned it into a second touchdown. Just like the Giants game two weeks ago however Matthew would then be quiet and not have any receptions until the fourth quarter and at this point his team really needed his help on offense to try to get the lead back from Carolina. This was not a team that the Packers should be losing against and Matthew had to continually bail them out on third downs like this. On the next third down he found a break within Carolina's coverage and there wasn't a single defender within a 20 yard radius of him on this touchdown as that would be what the Packers needed to get the win and help move them up to the first seed in the NFC playoff picture. It was a division game as Matthew and the Packers traveled to Minnesota to take on the Vikings this week and the Green Bay offense would take up almost the entire first quarter on their scoring drive but nearing the end of the first half would find themselves down by a possession to the Vikings. So Matthew was making quick work of the Minnesota secondary to help move his team down the field before halftime and their drive would be capped off with a touchdown pass to Aaron Jones out of the backfield to tie it up at 14. The Vikings would strike first though in the second half and the Packers would find themselves back down by a possession but Matthew would end up changing that for his team as he would get his first touchdown of tonight's game. At the start of the fourth quarter the Packers would finally take the lead back but now being down by three they needed a miracle and yet again Matthew Monavon would deliver as he would beat the Minnesota Vikings defense deep and take this one to the house for a touchdown as once again a last second touchdown for Matthew would help give the Packers a huge win. The Packers were 12 and 4 headed into their final game of the season and it would be a good one as they were at home against the Chicago Bears. Last time they were in their throwback uniforms Matthew went off for double digit receptions against the Buccaneers and I'm sure he was definitely hoping for that today again against his rivals. The Packers were moving the ball down the field quickly on their opening drive and Matthew was just a yard short of a touchdown but after that was relatively quiet from then on until the third quarter when he would come down with his biggest reception of the game so far. Matthew would help pick up a key third down for the Packers to keep their drive alive and then in the red zone was once again just a yard short of a touchdown against his rivals but he wasn't sweating it because he knew his team would find the end zone regardless just as they did here and Matthew would end the season with a huge victory against the Bears as well as leading the league in all reception stats as a rookie that in turn earned him NFC player of the year and NFC rookie of the year with his quarterback Jordan Love finishing fourth in MVP voting and his team locking up the one seed in the playoffs where they would take on the Saints in the divisional round at home. Before that we would make some upgrades adding plus three to catch and traffic and plus three to medium route running and would finally unlock an X-Factor ability slot where we would add the max security X-Factor
after to Matthew's ability loadout. And now the rookie was ready to lead his team into the playoffs here at Lambeau, as Jordan Love would try getting the ball to Matthew early on in the game, but they weren't able to connect. But the run game was working great for them on the opening drive, as Aaron Jones would take this one 30 yards all the way to the house for a touchdown to put them on the board first today. It wouldn't take long for Matthew to get his first reception of the day, and it was a spectacular one, as this pass was tipped by the defender, but Matthew would maintain focus and still come down with it. On third and 12, Jordan would go to Matthew, but he would be just short of the first down, but the drive would stay alive as Matt LaFleur was being aggressive and going for it on fourth down, as he would do it again with a QB sneak inside the 10-yard line, and it would pay off for them as the Packers would get another touchdown. The Saints were doing a good job of hanging with the Packers offense so far in this game, so Matthew needed to help lead his team down the field for more points again on this drive, and if he was able to keep coming down with the receptions at the same rate in the second half as he was in the first, he would end up with a double-digit reception game for the Packers in his playoff debut. That wouldn't mean anything though if the Packers didn't get the win to move on to the NFC Championship, so Matthew locked in and would get his first touchdown of the day on this play, as that would put the Packers up by 10 over the Saints. After their defense came up with a huge stop, Matthew would get his 10th reception on this play, but he still wasn't done as he would come down with catch number 11 and touchdown number 2, and Matthew was super stoked after that touchdown as he knew his performance helped send his team to the NFC Championship game where they would be hosting the San Francisco 49ers. Matthew and the Packers were one win away from the Super Bowl, and all that stood in their way was one more game against the San Francisco 49ers today. Matthew was hoping to have the same success this week as he did last week against the Saints. If he could rack up a double-digit reception against the 49ers today, as well as two touchdown receptions just like this one, the Packers should find themselves in the Super Bowl next week. Matthew and the rest of the receiver core were doing their part in the run game as well, as with great blocking on this play, they would help set up this 73-yard touchdown run for Aaron Jones that would put them up by 11 points. And then right before halftime, with one more chance to add some more points to the board, Matthew would come down with this reception to get them into field goal range, where they would tack on three headed into the locker room. The 49ers were fighting their way back into this game though, and were only down by one possession now, and thankfully that fumble by Matthew was reviewed and overturned, but the Packers would still have to punt anyway. The defense would come up with a huge stop, and it would be Aaron Jones again coming up with a big run to take this to the house for six, and while he didn't get double-digit receptions this game, Matthew would end up coming down with two touchdowns in this matchup today, as his team would take this one 38-17 over the Niners, and would be facing the one-seeded Ravens in the Super Bowl. This was the biggest game of Matthew's whole career, as he was in the Super Bowl as a rookie. This whole season has led up to this point for Matthew as the top rookie receiver in the league. He has been developing very well this entire season, and hopefully is to a point where he can help lead his team to a Super Bowl victory in tonight's matchup, as Matthew was shown it would be possible with this play here, and would come down with his first career Super Bowl touchdown. Matthew was certainly hoping that he would come down with a few more of those in tonight's matchup against the Ravens, as well as a win, as he was definitely helping make a difference on offense tonight for the Packers so far. They were back in the red zone again, but this time it would be Christian Watson coming down with a touchdown reception, and all of a sudden the Packers were up 21-10 over the Ravens now. If Matthew and the Packers offense could keep moving the ball down the field like this the rest of the game, there was a legitimate chance that they could become Super Bowl champions after tonight's game. Then Matthew would come down with what might be considered the catch of his career so far, because the rookie's second touchdown reception of the night was enough to secure the win for the Packers as they were Super Bowl champions. What a way for Matthew to end his rookie season as he would solidify himself as one of the best receivers in the league tonight.